Hello everyone, I'm Aladdin and I'll bring you here Dusk Pub for a PC. So the game came out on Friday. It's uh, developed and published by Yellow Duck Works. Uh, so this is uh, like a management sim uh, simulation of uh, like a hostess club and uh, with a little bit of visual novel if you want to say like that. Uh, it looks interesting, of course then uh, the game is supposed to have an uh, uh, uncensored patch, but uh, like the developers say on Discord that uh, uh, the Steam uh, is taking a while on that part, on the uh, that, that patch, so that's why it's not out of, out of yet. But if you want to get that patch, you can go to the Discord and the developer has in there the, the patch for the players to... Uh, uh, to put and play the Uncensor, but uh, if you only want to get on Steam the, the Uncensor patch, it's gonna take, uh, I don't know, probably next week, it depends on Steam how much takes it takes to uh, to let that uh, patch to pass, but if you want to get it, you can always go on Discord and then apply. So, let us start. Hmm. Oh. Hello. Dear Brave Sir, what jumped out at me was a cute elven maiden, a faint fragrance wafted from her slender body. Thank you for saving this world from the formidable demons, brave sir. Well then, as we agree in the contra from now on, I am yours. Therefore, if you like, I'm yours to serve. Ow. Oh. Well then, where shall we start? Boss? Yes? Boss? Boss, wake up! Get up, will you? I don't know why the hell she's like that on top of us. Uh, Rinka? Great, you are awake at last. How can you sleep after all that happened? What happened? This little girl, this girl in a maiden's outfit is Rinka. I know her for a long time, but I'm impressed every time I see her. Rinka. Have you, you are gotten bigger again? Huh? Wait, what? What are you saying? Oh, I was just having a nice dream. I don't care about your erotic dreams, just sing this I-O-U Huh? I -O -U? No, wait, why don't you... Why do you assume it's an erotic dream? Uh, I don't know Rinka's face was becoming redder and redder Anyway, hurry up and sing it, I have people waiting outside Rinka pushed the I-O-U forward gingerly I don't fully understand what's on it, but I guess I have no choice but to sign it So you put your name LOL I signed it, but what was it? Ask yourself what you did last night, you are a total show off, you know that? Last night, yeah, last night, the memories all came uh, floating back after Rinka mentioned it Ah, uh, those subhuman children on Angel Street were so cute, I wish I could see them again, even just for a glance don't talk now, so Angel Street is Proteus territory, a place where only the rich can go. You'll be wiped out in one night even if you went with a year's earnings. Right. Hey waiter, one more butterbeer. I don't mind being called a waiter by a drum, but my companion will look at me apologetically. I don't mind if they get drunk in the bar. In fact, I welcome it because it contributes to the bar sales. Please, don't come near me anymore. A female voice can be heard from outside. What's out the racket? Hey, stop being nosy and just finish your drink quietly. The other customers react almost the same as this too. In this bustling city called Erelia, nighttime arguments are a common occurrence. However, it is a different story when the place of the arguments is right in front of your bar. Rinka, I'm going to check it out for a while. Can you look after the store? At the sound of my voice, Rinka interrupted her small talk with a customer. Yeah, I got it. Be careful, it's probably just a pair of drunks carrying on anyway. I'm not sure what to do about it, but I'm going to do something. If the few customers we have to begin with stop coming in, I won't be able to pay your salary. I don't really need the salary that much. Okay, I'll take care of it anyway, so don't worry. I know that I shouldn't put Rinka in the land of fire. Well, well, aren't you a very pretty girl? What I saw was a vile drunk man holding the arm of a pretty girl. Someone's here, please let me go. The girl wiggled to escape, but it was no use against the vicious looking drunk. It doesn't matter who comes. Isn't your dream to be an idol? Come to my place and I'll make you the top div in Brent in no time. When the girl noticed me, she looked at me as if asking for help. Help the girl, of course. 
Look at this dude. Excuse me, but you are interrupting uh, my business. I thought it was a possible reason. Business? Looks at the stars uh, sign with disdain. Dusk pub? Ha ha ha. I've never heard, even heard of it. There's no way this shabby uh, bar can compete with my place. Get the hell out of here. While well, I'm still uh, staying calm. No, no, don't, don't do that. Anyone will feel obliged to help when they see a girl crying. If you are expecting a man like this to help you, you will be better to save your strength for when you are groaning under me. Said the drunk man, putting his hand on the girl's clothes. At that moment, my patient ran out. Wham! I hit the drunk with my clenched fist. You hit me? Who do you think you are? You miserable cow, I'll remember this. Oh, no. And the drunk and his cohorts messed up my store. It was that. Ah! How's that? Remember now, it's nice to help people, but it's not like that girl is going to pay for the damage. And I can't believe you, you went against Potius of our people. That guy owns Heaven's Lounge, remember? He can do whatever he wants with this place. As she said this, Rico made a gesture to cut off someone's head. It wasn't powerful at all. The IOU I just gave you is for repairing the store. We don't need to repair it to stay open, but we can't bring in many, in many customers without new tables and stuff, can we? No wonder Rink is frustrated. This pub was handed on to me by my parents, but it was only with Rink's help that I have been able to keep it open. She has put a lot of thought and effort on, into it, so I guess she can stand the fact that the place has turned out like this. I'm sorry. If I hadn't been so fired up, this wouldn't have happened. No, I'm not blaming you. If you were in the same situation again, I'm sure you all do it exactly the same. Thanks, Rinka. Now let's cheer up and get ready to open. Sing Rinka's cheery smile. I felt inspired too. The repayment date won't wait, you know. Uh, click the operate button at the bottom left to open the attendance list interface. Before official starting the pub operation, you need to have at least one staff member in the attendance touch. You can have up to eight uh, staff members on duty. Please here, uh, arrange the configuration according to your needs. The staff member in the first position of the queue will serve as the leader. Both the basic stamina, recovery and earnings will receive additional boosts. Therefore, please assign your strongest staff member to the first position in the queue. After configuration staff on duty, click open. All right. This goes to the first one. Yeah. So, we put her, of course, because we only have one. This is the countdown for the business duration. When the countdown reaches zero, there will be a set move for the day's operation and staff performance. Try to generate more income before the countdown expires. All right. As long as they have vacant seats and available staff, new customers will land at regular intervals. Upon entering, customers will automatically take a seat. Seated customers will display their preference attributes. Click on the seat to assign a staff member and assign a staff with higher attribute values will result in greater earnings. If customers remain unattended for an extended period or assign a staff with lower than expected attributes, it will greatly disappoint them, leading to a reduction in both customer, stay time and reputation gained. After assigning a staff member to a customer, you will still have one opportunity to change the staff. The assigned staff. Make sure to utilize this replacement change wisely. Customers may place orders at times, so carefully observe their preference and choose the correct drink. Choosing correct can save the staff a small amount of stamina, but selecting the wrong option may might make the customer upset. You can check the drink information at time by clicking the on the menu bottom left. All right. When staff members attend to customers, their stamina gradually decreases. Even though they can still serve customers when stamina is depleted, their performance will be suboptimal, resulting in a significant drop in customer payment frequency. In such case, replacing staff or rest will gradually restore their stamina. Please pay close attention to this. Now it's time to start. Alright, All right, comes the customer. Here we have this. Make that money! Is it always 17? I'm not counting. It looks like it's always 17. Chocolate Buffy. There we go.
You got that drink, I don't even know what the hell is that. Is that a dessert or a drink? I wonder. Now she's on the rest, she recovers some stamina, okay. Start faster! Okay. Well, I can't do anything, it has to be hard to work in the, with this one. She don't, she's not that gentle. Don't let your guard down. Oh, no. Okay. Of course, at the beginning it's always like this slow, but once you start to get more, uh, it's gonna be better, of course. Twenty and when it's a seven, so probably a uh, tenth when it reaches to zero, so. Alright, at least still made a little bit more money in there. <clears throat> Extra bonus. I don't know what else is that. Alright. We made 300. Not many customers today. After what happened yesterday, that was enough to keep customers away for a while. Hey boss. It kind of reminds me of when you first took over Dusk Pub. The place was certain, not even a mouse. Compared to the numbers of customers in those days, a slight decrease now is okay. Besides, everyone saw you save the girl. As long as Dusk Pub had a good... As a good reputation, I'm sure it will do well again. I was so relieved to hear Hinka's words of encouragement that I ended up patting her on the head. Well, there's no point crying. Okay, let's take this place that potish color rag tag bar and show the dead past of what we are made of. That means Hinka looked delightful. That means you're finally going to run the place seriously. What are you talking about? I've been running it seriously for a long time, haven't I? When have you been serious? You look always so unmotivated. Well, as the boss of Dusk Pub, I should at least be motivated enough to not to lose to you. Don't make fun of me. The son of the store door being opened softly. Uh, excuse me. I'm sorry, the store is closed. Oh no, I came to thank you for yesterday. The girl standing in front of us with sparkling red eyes and a light blue shortcut was the very girl I had saved. Oh, it's you. Uh, my name is Aruka Inazaki. I'm LOL, I'm the boss of Dusk Pub. Nice to meet you, Aruka, I'm Hinka. Uh, thank you for yesterday. I didn't know what to do in a situation like that. Has Potish done anything to you since then? No, he didn't, but I'm sorry I left without saying thank you. I was very scared. After that, I heard that this store was ransacked by Potish man, so I... When Aruka said this, she held out her bag, which looked empty inside, with both hands. You can feel the inspiration in her hair, which sways with the movement of her body. This is all the money I've earned as a street singer. Of course, it's only a small amount compared to the damage. Still, I want you to have it. Haruka's face turned red and she stared at me with appealing eyes. If I didn't accept the money, she would break down and cry right away. Sorry, I can't accept this. I appreciate the sentiment, but what happened yesterday was partly my own fault. Besides, this girl is a victim too, I really can't accept it. This is it enough, is it? I will earn more money and make sure to pay it all back. What happened yesterday is not your fault, and you should let Potish pay for it. That's right, a nice girl like you, Aruka. You don't have to worry about anything. We are going to make this place big, and we are going to make Potish look twice. Perhaps our response came as a surprise, but Aruka Yunazaki seems to be at a loss for an answer. By the way, Aruka, you said you are a street singer? Yes, I've always loved singing, but I get nervous when I perform in front of a lot of people, so I started street singing. And it's been six months since I started, but I'm not popular at all. But I don't have anything else to do but sing, so I'm not going to do anything else. Oh, well then, why don't you try doing a part-time job here at the bar? Hika gave me a look, it seemed like she is asking for my consent as the boss. I think that's a great idea. Here, you can interact with various customers and develop your communication skills. And there is no overtime work at all, so you can continue to pursue your dream while working here. Hey, hey, did I just say no overtime? It's more like we just don't get busy enough to need overtime. So what do you think? Uh, yes, I would like to. Perhaps feeling guilty for us not taking her offer of reimbursement, Aruka immediately accepted Hinka's offer straight away. Great, if we can get a cute girl like you to join us, Aruka, we are sure to be very prosperous. What well, that isn't, then it's decided. I'm looking forward to working with you from now on, Aruka. Ah uh, yes, me too, Hinka. Boss, I look forward to working with you. 
I smile and welcome her too. Then Ringa took Aruka to the back of the store. I guess she intends to teach her a simple job now. After a while they returned. Aruka is a quick learner. She learns quickly after just a little instruction. It looks like she'll have no problem starting work tomorrow. I'm glad I saved the spare uniform. It fits Aruka perfectly. Uh, Rinka. Aruka's cheeks are red as she gazes at Rinka's rather uh, ample breasts. Uh, Rinka, noticing this, also looks a little awkward. Uh, but other than the bust, it fits perfect, doesn't it? I'll have to tell fix it for you. Thank you. Looks like things are going to get a little more lively from here on out. Aruki and Azaki joined the pub and new members join. Don't forget to adjust the attendance before. Okay. So operate. C plus C plus C. She has more Bs. Right? So probably you don't you want to put her as a leader? Don't you want to put her as leader uh, because she has more uh, of these? Uh, let's see. Go, go, customer! Arrive! Lovely. Alright, so now it will be her. Well, that worked, okay. BB. Make that money! I don't know how much it is. A black tea. Task that one. Red wine. Hounder, we already made the, the money that we did yesterday. Oh my god, we can pay the bills if there is bills. Okay, hey, the problem is stamina. Ah, oh, you cannot uh, move. It said that uh, you could uh, put on rest, but it doesn't look like it works like that. You can switch. But uh, like uh, you need to have someone in here then. Okay, one thousand. That's not bad. Tell is this zero tips? Huh. Phew! Time to close up shop. Thanks to you, Aruka. Sales are much better than yesterday. Oh, is that true? I'm glad I was able to help you. Good job, both of you. Uh, boss, over there in the corner, there's still a customer. I follow Aruka's gaze as she whispered in this in my ear and turned my attention to a corner seat of the bar. At the table was a subhuman customer wearing a monocle. His every move was very gentlemanly. This bar drinks. The name makes no sense, but it tastes quite good. Especially this special cocktail, Hell's Gate. Just smell the aroma is so encanting. The rich and, and mellow taste with the stimulation of carbonation is a true masterpiece. This reminds me of an anecdote from uh, several thousand years ago when my ancestors performed a heart weighing ceremony of the, for the people of Erelia. As he expressed his thoughts in a torrent of comments, uh, the subhuman guest seemed to have finally remembered that we are here. Ah, excuse me. I didn't even introduce myself. My name is Ford, a six star gastronomic critic from the ancient land of Yellow Sands, Elegia. As I mentioned earlier, the drinks here are truly exquisite, especially for some humans who have a keen sense of smell. I can say that it, does, it is a smell that will shake your soul. I'm honored to hear that you think that. However, there is a problem with this bar. What is that? Well, 
if I may be so presumptuous. I have been observing your bar, but there seems to be one thing missing. It's the atmosphere. The atmosphere. It is my opinion that you need a performance to enjoy your drinks. Performance? If there are two beautiful ladies here, and they both have singing voice, customers will relax and listen, then sales will surely increase. Yes, as we say in our industry, happy hour. I think I understand what you are talking about. That's enough for now. I'm looking forward to seeing what you have in store for us in the future. I can't stand to see a bar that serves quality booze get destroyed by potish. Ford placed 10 gold coins on the table. Please accept this magre change as tip. After saying this, Ford left the bar. After watching Ford leave, Rinka whispered in a low voice, Boss, he was a strange customer, wasn't he? Yes, I know. I wonder if our drinks are powerful with the human race. Hey, how about opening a branch on Angel Street? There's no way we can afford to open a branch when we are still in debt. But that customer mentioned the performance to go with the alcohol. Why don't we give it a try? That's right, that's exactly what the Aruki is good at. Okay, let's give it a try tomorrow. You should prepare something too, Rinka. I'm sure there will be customers who will come to see you perform. What? I also have to perform. Are you going to make me do nutcrackers in a frying pan? <laughs> By the way, how the hell the game saves? Oh. Oh, it saves automatically. I still don't know if this one is better as leader or not. Still don't know how you can see that. I don't know what was the money that was making. Like, if uh, Rinke is leader is 17. I need to check. The fever... The fever progress bar in the top left. Okay. Of the interface represents the current charging progress of the happy hour. The fever progress bar will automatically increase over time. Once fully charged, you can click the adjacent water to activate happy hour manually. At this time, all negative emotions of current customers will be immediately eliminated. During this period, the frequency of customers spending will simply increase, and staff members will no longer consume stamina. Ooh. When happy hour is activated, it will extend an equivalent amount of business time. Therefore, there's no need to worry about happy hour ending prematurely or affecting the overall business duration. Feel free to use it to your advantage. Let me see. Okay. But basically, it's when you make more money, let's be honest. Twenty-seven. She makes twenty-seven. She makes seventeen. That's the difference. So she's bad as a leader. At least it's what, it's what I'm thinking. Cappuccino. A champagne. There we go. There is your champagne. Drink it. The problem is that stamina bar takes a while to go up. Sexy. We can put her, but then we can switch. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to switch because I'm gonna make more money like this than putting an, a different one. It would be nice to get this, like that it will not consume stamina, but it'll also look like I'm gonna get to there. Ah, I gained a little bit. <laughs> Fever time! <laughs> She's getting uh, stamina. Alright, that's all. that wasn't bad. A lot of money. Nice, 2300. Nice. Still don't know what is this for. 
And this one, extra punch. Still wasn't explained. Phew, the loan for Renovation has finally been paid off. Thanks to everyone's efforts. Boss, isn't the bar doing a little too much business these days? I'm not sure if Aruka and I are going to be able to handle it on our own. Obviously, that gastronomist must have spread the word about us. The number of Subimu customers has also visibly increased. You never know. They may all be here for Aruka's singing. Wait, Hinka. Yeah, there are times when they... There is a line of people waiting to get in. It will be impossible for the two of us to handle it all. Then, let's recruit more staff. Sure, let's recruit. If we do that, maybe we'll get another cute girl like Aruka. Please, don't tease me anymore, Hinka-san. Alright. The training feature now available. Click the training button at the bottom left to open the staff training interface. You can unlock some staff members on this interface while others are required unlocked through the storyline or special methods. Pub operations earns you ability points. Oh shit. In the training interface, you can enhance various attributes of uh, staff members, intelligence, charm, etiquette, and sexiness by spending ability points. Oh, probably the, the, the blue is uh, attributes. Oh no, and give, those are things that you can give. By giving gifts to staff members, you can increase favorability level. After reaching a certain level of favorability, not only can the maximum level of the staff member be increased, but also a memory segment with that character be unlocked. If you want to get to know her better, make an effort to raise an aff affection level. Interesting. So this one costs you thousand. Pub reach level two, level two. This story or uh, other methods. Which one should I go? I'm going for this one. Oh, you need to click over here. But probably in the sense that there's more girls? Oh no. Uh, we get this one. Uh, yeah, level 10. Jesus. So how do all this works? S story, affection, okay. Po yeah, you can put over here. You have this. How, how the hell do you know? Oh, over here it says 60. God damn. So how much it is if I put 10, uh, 20? Unlock a new story. Because I already got this, right? The origin of Dusk Pub. That's interesting. Night's curtain fell and the last customer left. Dusk Pub satisfied. Someone is still busy working in the bar. Even thought we have closed for the night. Hinka, why don't you call it a night? Hinka turned around and smiled gently. Actually, there's something I would like to do. The bar isn't big, but I want the customers to have clean image of the place. I want to do something for the bar and for you, boss. I'll do anything I can to help. Hinka shyly runs her fingers through her hair. That's true. The bar is always clean thanks to you, Hinka. Hinka works hard for the bar, and it's probably thanks to her that the number of customers has increased. Since Hinka takes such good care of this pub, I, as the manager, am completely satisfied. Of course, that's because this place is not the place that you and I created. It is because you decide to keep the bar running, boss, that I have to do my best, too. It's because you have been here, Hinka. I have been able to keep the bar going. I'm very grateful to you, Hinka. But don't work too hard. You have to take care of yourself. Hinka waved her hand to cover a blushing face. Don't worry, it's not that late yet. It's my job. It's no big deal at all to do the cleaning. I'm no help when it comes to running a bar, but I can do cleaning and tidying up. You can leave it up to me to do at least that well. Of course, I can trust you, Rinka. Don't be so modest. You are a master cleaner. That's because I've been doing it for you, boss, for a long time. Pairs remembering the old days, a look of hesitation appeared on Rinka's face. Boss, I've actually been wondering about something, and I wasn't able to ask until now. What is it? You can ask me now, if you want. Well, it's not really a big deal. The name P Dusk Pub, how was it said? Hmm, where did it come from? I'm pretty sure there was a proper reason for choosing it. Hinka seemed to be looking forward to the rest of the story. It was just like when she used to beg me for a bedtime story as a child. I kept the story short. Dusk Pub is the name my father decided on. He was an explorer who came to Irelia when it was still a small town. He was injured while exploring and met my mother here. My mother patched him up with hemostatic herbs that she had collected. After that, they took a liking to each other and my father quit the adventure and settled down in this town. Here, Ilya, then a small town, is a now big city, but the name of the bar has remained unchanged, named after the beautiful dusk when my father and mother met. That's pretty cool. Hink eyes spark and she was engrossed in the story. 
Hey, such a beautiful story. I never heard of it before. My father always talked about it. Those two were good friends. Yeah, but they are not here anymore, are they? Rinka suddenly realized something and began apologizing profusely. Ah, I'm sorry, boss. It's not that. It's a. Uh, it's okay. It's not that I have a bad bad memories. My parents were close, like in a fairy tale. Rinka nodded her head vigorously, but she still seemed a little depressed. Don't worry about it. I'm sure they are both living happily in heaven. Besides, I have you, Rinka. What? Both of Rinka's cheeks suddenly turned red. She seemed to be quite embarrassed. Uh, I still have this to do, so I'm off. Rinka blushed and ran away. Hey Rinka, the dishes are not that way. Okay, I'm going to have to work hard to make the bar bigger. The shop feature is now available. It sells various uh, common items and special products. Feel free to visit anytime for your shopping needs. My shopping needs, huh? Uh, but you can increase this. Okay. Uh, we can increase, like, we don't need to increase all because the other ones will co uh, contemplate that. Because this costumes 24? How the hell do you know how much you have? You don't know, right? Oh, this costumes, uh, that's what I have, okay. Uh, we can put, what the hell this one has? Lovely and gentle. It's always the same. You need to, to do all those. Alright. Nobody has this one as yet, so we can put on Clever. It's weird because it looks like it's increasing the others, but it's not. On this one, probably can push like. Uh, this one. And. Gentle. Of course, then you can always give to these ones to these ones to see their stories. But for now, let's uh, progress. I still, this still is not reputation. Okay, that's reputation. I believe eleven B plus B plus. This one now should be better, right? B plus B plus B plus B C C. Yeah, this one should be better now. But where the hell you can buy it? It say that you can buy for now, but where? When customers are in an extremely good mood, they may randomly give tips. Tips will appear in the form of golden coins. Oh. In the scene, collecting them not only increases income, but also speeds up the recharge of happy hours. So don't forget to click. Oh, I need to click. Holy shit. Yeah, but where the hell do you buy? It say that you can buy, but uh, it didn't appear nothing. Weird. Forty-three. Got it. <laughs> I was going to click because I thought it was a golden coin. Where's the golden coins? Nobody gives tips, what the fuck? What the hell is this bullshit? Golden coin. Need someone to push the, the clever. Click it. Go, 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 go. Make that money. Oh, click, click, click. <laughs> click that gold coin. Click. 
More, we need more. Ah, I found it. When you have uh, enough loan coins and reputation, probably these loan coins, I don't know. You can upgrade the pub in the pub stat interface. After upgrading, not only will the business efficiency improve, but the quantity of various resources obtained will also increase. In Therefore, please prioritize upgrading the pub. How? Am I blind? Oh, what? What? Why the hell it didn't appear immediately? Shop, here we go, the shop. Hello. Magic bracelet? A beautiful bracelet made of obsidian. Jesus! Mm. These to level up that. Okay, the faction level is a lot in here. Oh, Jesus. 8050 reputation. Interesting. 4,000. You can already get this one, so it will be nice. The fuck? A nun? So, this one, call, it was clever, right? We can push her to go to the clever. Uh, we can push a little bit in here. We push her to that, and... Uh, by the way, we can give to this one, only to see, by like 20 was enough to get the first one, right? Yeah. 20 is always enough to push for the first one, let's see. A while has passed since Aruga Inazaki came to the bar, but I still don't know much about her past, so I decided to talk with Aruka on one of the regular days off at the bar. Aruka, I believe you, were you a street singer, right? Aruka's eyes lit up when we talk about singing. Yes, boss! I want to be an idol. I see, you mean you want to make your debut as a singer and become an idol. Yes, I want to bring love and hope to everyone by singing. It may not be a realistic dream to a kid, but when I see her eyes sparkle full of determination, I can't help but want to cheer her on. I see, love and hope, true song, but th that sounds like a good dream. Hey, <laughs> thank you. Haruka smiles shyly. But it's hard to become an idol, isn't it? I think it's hard. Why did you choose such a hard path, Haruka? The reason is, maybe it has something to do with when I was a little girl. Aruka kept her eyes down and began to talk about her past. I'm from Saitinush, the castle of progress, and money is everything over there. Because my family was poor, my parents used to fight a lot over trivial things. I was very afraid of my parents' fights. So one day I locked myself in my room and tried to drown my fears with singing. Then something special happened. After listening to my singing, my parents stopped fighting. Singing softens people's hearts. It's like a ray of light in the darkness, illuminating people's hearts. Aruka looked up and gazed at me with sparkling eyes. That convinced me that singing can give people love and hope. Wouldn't it be amazing if my singing voice could bring love and hope to those who need help or are depressed like me? Besides, with the growing conflict between Saitinuj and the magical kingdom of Leviosa, if I could bring my songs to many people, they will calm down and stop the war. But I'm not popular yet, and I'm a long way from making my dreams come true. I will do my best. I can't believe that these girls sing songs because of such a desire. Great ideals, surely becoming an artist is the best way to go. Aruka is pleased with my encouragement. What, boss, will you support me? Yes, I will support you. I'm sure you can do it, Aruka. If there's anything I can do, just let me know. Yes, I will. Thank you very much. I will do my best. I'm sure I will help many people with my singing voice. Aruka, you'll surely win some kind of peace prize or something. Oh, no, boss. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Uh, we save. Uh, okay. Operate. So now we have uh, this one. So let me see. Continues to be this one the best, right? Even if this has an A, this still has the B. No, no. We can push her to be uh, the the boss. There's a chance now that you can extend f 
you can use X talent, okay, he appears down, for random guests who are about to leave, allowing them to stay long. However, doing so will increase the stamina consumption of the staff. He still won't consume stamina during happy hour. Please use it flexibly depending on the situation. Alright. Which is always a good thing. In case they give a lot of money. Clever. We need those golden coins. Get the happy hour, that's what we need. Get that happy hour quickly. Gentle. Go, 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 go. We extend in there, we extend. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. How much it was? Fifty and eight thousand. Mm. I have sixty. Can't try to see this one. Elisa's dream. Let's uh, see the the dream. Elisa is literally polishing her coffee cup at the counter. I might talk to her to pass the time. Hey Elisa, why did you decide to work at our bar? Elisa turns to me, but she doesn't stop polishing her cup. Hey, what can I say? I'm embarrassed. It's not for any great reason. I'm no more curious to know. Do you like the atmosphere of a bar because you like the smell of alcohol or coffee? Or is it because it's because my family's poor? I don't have any money because I'm poor. I need the money. You don't have to be so blunt. Well, that's a very easy reason. But I'm not so poor that I can't eat. However, I have a dream that I have had since I was a child. A dream? With red eyes shining, Alyssa began to happily talk about her dream. Yes, I'm going to save up money and open a cake shop. I love the sweet smell of a cake, a cake shop. The smell of cake makes me forget all my worries. When I was little, I used to sneak into the cake shop near my house and watch the cakes being made. Ever since then, I've always wanted to open a cake shop someday and bring happiness to everyone. I see what you mean. That's a cute dream, Alisa. Alisa nodded cheerfully, but her face immediately clouded over. But the rent for the tenants and the ingredients for the cakes are very expensive, and we are poor, so I have to make my dream come true on my own. Hey, it's just a tiny dream, but I'll make it come true. That's why I'm trying my best to do another part-time job besides Dusk Pub. Huh? Alisa, you are holding down another part-time job? I didn't know that. Yep. I also work as a prince adventure at the Adventure Guild. I get paid for doing missions in my spare time. So when I have time, I take on simple jobs. I do things like delivering letters, weeding, 
washing windows and so on. I didn't know that the Avengers Guild also takes on such requests. Sort of. Plus, are, are you making fun of me? It's true. It's work that even new adventures will will not take on. Thanks to that work comes by my way. On the other hand, missions with high rewards like taking down demonic beasts are very competitive and hard to get. That said, they are also jobs are way out of my league. By the way, uh, do you have a chance to rest working two jobs, Alisa? Alisa smiles sweetly. When it comes to being able to open a cake shop or not, working two jobs is nothing. When I think about my cake shop, I get so motivated. I don't need a break. Besides, I sleep well and eat well every day. I need to get my strength up to work. When Atashi's store opens, you definitely have to come. Alisa smiles him to liven up the bar. Oh, of course. I'm looking forward to seeing your original cakes. Uh, yes. Alisa's cheeks turn red and she hid her face with her hands. You can almost hear Alisa start beating. She's too not honest, so it shows on her face. Hang in there, I'm sure you can make your dream come true. I pat her head lightly. Alisa's face turns red again. Her eyes are shining as she looks me up and down. Thank you, boss. I'll do my best. I'll do my best. Both as an adventure and at the dusk pub. Uh, I only have 12. We can push this one here. Uh, I think she that one continues to be the, uh, the best. Eh, probably. Let's work hard. Yes, we will. Sexy. Gentle. Get that gold coin. Sexy. Okay. We need that Dappy Howard to come fast. Can extend that one. I'm gonna let a little bit time pass to recover. Go, 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 make that. I'll make some money. I'm not gonna extend in there. Uh, no, no, it's not worth, it's not worth. It's gonna help the, the thing, so. It's worth to let them uh, rest a little bit. Seven, it's eight thousand. I have twelve only. Wait, you cannot increase. Oh, that's the maximum level. All right. Increasing uh, five reality can increase level cap. Yeah. Uh, twenty. Reasons for coming to Dusk Pub. 
night. Noir is cleaning up the counter in the bar after the customers have left. She's new to the store, but she quickly got used to her work and is well liked by the customers. Seeing Noir tidying the counter, I remember a rumor about her that the customer has to had told me. I might ask her about her past. Noir, you were in a church in Irelia, weren't you? And I heard you were the leader of the choir. When I asked the question, Noir uh, put down the glass nervously. Yes, that's right. It's a job that a lot of people aspire to, so why did you quit? That I... Never mind, I was just asking. If you don't want to tell me, it's fine. It's it's not that I was hiding anything. I just didn't want to be misunderstood. Actually, I was kicked out of the church. I was prepared for it, but I was still a little surprised. I see, because you disobeyed the church rules or something? No, I had a disagreement with the bishops when we were discussing a certain issue in the church. I insisted that the crystal technology promoted by Cytinus was not heresy and co coexist with magic. Noir looked at me, her face scrunched up. She seemed to think I was going to contradict her. I nodded and urged her to continue. But the bishops believed that crystal energy is heretical practice that corrupts people and stabilizes the power of those who use magic to control the world. But magic shouldn't be a political tool, should it? Noir eyes lit up as I agreed. I'm glad you think the same as I do, boss. With crystals, even those without magical powers can live much easier. It is true that using crystals may have a bad effect on the magic purity of the natural world, but I believe that one day a solution will be found. When that happens, there will be no more discrimination between race and there will be no more hierarchy created by the price of our absence of magical power. Noir is a good and serious girl. Unlike the rest of the church, she's not interested in power. She just wants to make this world a better place. She's like an angel. Is there anyone in the church who was on your, on your side, Noir? Noir looked down and shook her head. In the church, the bishop's teachings are everything, so different views are unacceptable. I will never have thought that I will have been able to argue my point of view. So I am very happy that you understand, boss. Hmm. All I've ever done is listen to other people's uh, problems, so it is hard to believe someone is listening to mine. You are not wrong, Noir. Believe in yourself. Yes, I will. You and Cosmat may be think positive, boss. So will you go back to the church if you had the chance? That... Actually, before I wanted to be a leader of the magical continent Seri Cathedral Choir, if I had a chance, I wouldn't give up on my dream. But for now, I plan to do a good job here at the bar. I'm good at helping customers with their problems and stuff. Ha! <laughs> then I'm looking forward to seeing what you can do in the future, Noir. Yes. Alright, that's a little weird one, but okay. Uh, we can train her. Um, we can push her on the gentle. And clever. Uh, I was gonna say they have a heart in there. Okay, we need to upgrade the the bar. Lovely. Again, lovely. What the fuck? Two times lovely. We need gold coins, come on! the others rest a little bit clever what oh, always lovely what the hell is this what about the other ones jesus
go, 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 go. We can extend in there. How <laughs> awful at the same time doing the money. Nice, that was a good amount of money. So now you can upgrade at the sea. Money acquisition, pub rating. Oh. Boss, our sales have been so good lately. Why don't you have a sales showdown? Sales showdown? Wait a minute, did you forget? It's an unright and well-known rule of business in brand. The four most popular bars in brand are called known as the four great bars. A sales showdown is exact as it sounds. You compete with the other bars based on sales takings for a day. If we win, the bars fame will soar. So what are the current four great bars? I got you. I found uh, out all the information I need from the customers. The four great bars are The first one is Matchmaker Pavilion. The boss is Kasumi Shinonoma. She's based in the Kingdom of Leviosa in the east. Next bar is go Bar Golden Sands in the ancient land of Yellow Sands, Elysia. The boss Elish is said to be involved in the hard trade in addition to the bar business. He also seems to be a regular in the rankings of the richest people in the country of Brent. And then there's that big bad guy Potius from Heaven's Lounge. His base of operations here in Aurelia. The last one is Bar Reborn based on Inside Teens, the castle of progress, the top of the bar industry. The boss, Darkwell, seems to be quite ambitious and is thinking of entering political politics. That's a lot of information. Who should we challenge first? They are all strong opponents. Kasumi Shinonoma from Matchmaker Pavilion is a young lady who just took over the establishment from her father. So she will be good first opponent. I see, you have a good point. Let's give it a shot to raise our profile. I guess so. Okay, let's work toward our next goal. Okay, the challenge feature is now available. As the main story land progress, you can sequentially challenge the four champions in the tavern world. It's sync. Uh, but we, it's better to trade before we go for that shit. I only have eight. How the hell is that even possible? Didn't I get more than that? Because it's not on the shop that you can buy that stuff, right? Because he's Devil May Cry. Uh, but because this is only to get that uh, faction faster. Because this uh, faction is 10, this uh, 100 immediately. So I wonder if you can already defeat, I wonder. Recommend pub rating reach 7,000. 70,000, right? 70,000. How the, you cannot defeat it then because I recommend it. So I cannot defeat, I cannot go for it yet because probably you lose. Because probably you need to train. Oh, you can have one more. But is there someone else? Oh, yeah, there is. Eight. 8,000? Jesus. Oops, wrong button. That's crazy. Lovely. Who is that? A P plus, P plus. I put the, this one. Gentle is that one, right? Okay, we have two. Whoa, silver coins? Do you see that? What the hell was that? Silver coins. That's different. Why the hell is he throwing silver coins? The 
game never explained that. Normally it's like copper. Hmm. Interesting, it was that guy. Again, it's because of her. Really, the, the worst had to come over here. Go, 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 work on that, work on that. A lot of silver coins. What? It has to be the worst ones. It had to be the worst ones. Seriously. We extend in that one. Extend. There's no point on extending in that one. They don't. They are not doing a, a good job for that. If I can still make a little bit, there we go. Nice. Isn't this that? It says 15. How the hell it says that? I don't know. Unlock a new mini game. What? The minigame feature is now available. Simply click the button at the bottom right to open minigame list. Each minigame requires unlocking in different ways. After achieving the mission object, you can receive additional rewards. The richness of the rewards will change with the pub level and minigame score. If you are tired of managing the pub, why not come and challenge yourself? Huh. What the hell? But let me see. Uh, 19. Alright, so it counted, but I had that low, is it? Let me see, minigame. Slime cleaning reward. You get this to uh, affection. And this. Oh, Luna favorability. She use. Do I have Luna? Oh. Alright, let's see, what else is this? Instructions. Clicking left mouse button can cause minor area damage at the current position. Clicking right mouse button can instantly eliminate all current slimes, but this skill can only be used three times. Please eliminate the slime before they reach the farm. Why the hell there's a ship in there? They are together, you can eliminate them immediately. One minute. Alright, that was a lot of them. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> Do not touch my farm. Holy shit, they are running. Slime, what? They're about to launch an attack, a final attack. I still have two times for the right mouse button. Ok, 
Okay. Three times. Now I don't have. Yeah. There we go. Twenty-four thousand. Um, we can buy this one now. Clever. We gonna increase here and here. We gonna give her. Uh, you oh uh, you select which one you want. Okay, it's not very visible, but you can select which one you want. Oh, this is Luna. There we go. So it's I oh know, but this is only level one. So Luna is this one, and there's the another mini game, but you need to get to two. Reasons for one breakage. It has been a while since Luna started working at the bar. She's in the chat and a bit mysterious and is well received by the customers. I'm also one of them and I'm taking care of this girl who came from far away. Today is the bar's regular holiday. Luna is fiddling with the edge of her clothes, looking apologetic. Boss, is there a store in area that repairs magic wands? I'm new here so I don't know much about this city. She's scratching her head and mumbling. Maybe she doesn't want to be made fun of for not taking good care of her magic wand. There is, the owner of magic tool store there is quite good. But why do you want to repair your magic wand? Did it break? I was curious as to why the magic wand was broken. In Irelia, magic is not everything in life. Many people who can't use magic can live conveniently with the crystal technology of Saitinj. The reason my magic wand, uh, the, magical, the magic isn't work right, so I thought I will have someone take a look at it. Boss, I was wondering if you will come with me. I will never be able to find the star by myself. Boss, please. Luna sticks out her tongue. Alright, I'll go with you. Let's go now. Oh, you can see other things? Oh, shit. The magic star is located in North Irelia, not far from the bar. As we were walking, we were talking about nothing in particular. Luna, are you attending a Perseum Academy? Academy of Magic, right? Yes, I am. I'm graduating soon. She winked mischievously. I guess she's happy that she won't have to study anymore after graduation. A Prisium Ac Academy of Magic is a well-known school, right? Are your studies going okay with your working a part-time job so far away from home? I'm fine, I'm fine. I can do everything in the textbooks and all I have to do is write my thesis. As, as you probably know, boss, the Academy of Magic is very strict. That's why I wanted to see the outside world rather than just inside school. I was impressed by Luna's way of thinking. I see, then why did you come to Iria, Luna? It's quite distance from the school, isn't it? It's because I thought the people of Iria are very open-minded. I heard that people in the Magical Kingdom are prejudiced against crystal technology and criticize crystals as a cause for reducing the purity of magic in the world. But crystal technology is very useful and can do things that even magic can do. I am from Magical Kingdom, but I only knew about crystals through rumors. So I wanted to use this opportunity to see the outside world with my own eyes. So I chose Irelia because it is located between the Castle of Science and the Magical Kingdom, and it is very tolerant of, of both. It just so happened that the Dusk Pub was looking for a part-timer, so I applied, but I didn't think you'll hire me as an intern. I know that I get impressed that Luna had such a solid way of thinking. That's fine a, w that's fine a way of thinking. Uh, it's true that crystal technology is useful, but Magical uh, has an amazing sight. They complement each other in my opinion. I know, right? Luna seems happy that I agree with her. We pass by a necessary store, looking through the show window, we can see a variety of accessories on display. Luna suddenly stopped, but she seemed to be attracted by the hair ornaments in the store. Luna was staring at the beautiful hair ornament in the shape of a bat through the shop window. I stopped and stood beside her. Luna must love this kind of thing, since she always wears bat accessories. Luna, do you want this hair ornament? Oh no, it's not like that. Come on, let's move on. Luna blushed and shook her head. Averting her gaze from the shop window, but she still seemed to have some lingering regret. I look at her back and uh, an idea. And then we arrive at the magic store. Somehow, when I use magic, I feel the magic tugging at my magic wand. I didn't really, really notice until I came to Irelia. Luna handed the magic wand to the shopkeeper and explained the problem. Hmm, can you show me? The shopkeeper observed the magic wand in detail. This magic wand has been under pressure for a long time and the car seems to be a little deformed. That's probably why the magic doesn't flow smoothly. Miss, did you put something heavy on the magic wand? Ah, I wonder if... Surely not. Luna seems to remember something. Could it be because I put my magic wand under my pillow when I go to bed at night? Why would you put a magic wand 
under your pillow. Well, my mom said to do it. She said that when you sleep outside the house, you should put your magic wand under your pillow so you can have good dreams. But I never thought it would break it. I didn't know this would happen. Chalk. Hey. <laughs> These guys may be trying to cheat us. Damn, how much does it cost to fix it? It's 5,000 runes. It's a bit expensive. Thanks again. So, okay. Oh, there we go. 50,000. Limited hair. Huh. But what, they can, what else can you do with this? Right? What else do you do with this? Like, you can buy that. Do you give to her? Oh, so what else do you do with that? You can buy that for what? A very cute patch shepherd head piece, seemingly highly high limited edition merchandise. But uh, you don't give to nothing? Huh. So it's like you waste money for that? I thought you could like do like a gift, right? Like you'll come over here and gift. But... Uh... No, but uh, you need that. It's over here to get the story level 2. Alright. Makes sense. By the way, the challenge... 180, Jesus Christ. What? Upgrade pub level or increase current attendance staff level. Okay. Now we have five. There's always some that can always rest. B plus, B plus, B. Hold on, coin. Uh, champagne. A red wine. I will give it to you. There we go. It looks like these guys that have uh, give uh, silver coins. They don't take stand. I just want to have Potter. Go, 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 oh my god. How many tips? Jesus Christ. Sure, I've extended that. Oh, I pressed the wrong one. Always gentle. Mm. 
9,000. God damn. That was a good one, 9,000. Uh, the problem is that you don't receive too much of these, which makes it a little bit slow. Do I need something in here? No, we can give to her gift. I wonder how much 10 of this work. Jesus. That one gives a lot of affection. Our past. Before I knew it, it was time to close up. Ringa, who had finished cleaning up, seemed to be sitting at the table thinking about something. I asked her why she did not return to her room. What's the matter, Hinka? We are closing up for today. Perhaps hearing my voice, Hinka came to her sounds and looked at me with clear eyes. Ah, it's you, boss. Actually, I had a dream last night that reminded me of the old days. That little girl was so small and is now grown up to be fine and beautiful. Come to think of it, it's been almost 10 years since I started living with Rinka. Oh. <gasps> when Rinka was left in front of the store, my father took her in and let her live in the house. Rinka had always been very understanding ever since she was a little girl, and she often helped out at the bar. My parents and I treated her as if she were our real family. The four of us lived happily together until a year ago. My parents, who had gone to the sea to stock up on goods, never returned, and I was left with the bar and Rinka. The bar had been closed for a long time since then, and its reputation was in tatters. Later, he opened the bar as a manager, and it had con has continued to operate without a hitch. Thanks to Rinka, the bar's business got back on track, and we have managed to keep going until today. Rinka supported me during the most difficult times, and the two of us gradually rebuilt my parents' bar. Boss, boss, what's the matter? You have been in the days. Rinka's voice brought me back to the present. Oh, I'm sorry, you started talking about the old days, so I just... Hink asked gently with a worried look on her face. Boss, have you been sleeping properly lately? You must have worked really hard and preserved, didn't you? Running a bar must be stressful. Well, it's true that I've been so busy lately and that I haven't had much time for myself. But you are here for me, Hinka. Hinka's smile bursts out. That's right. So when you are tired, you can tell me. I want to help you too, boss. Ah. That's right. Perhaps, some, uh, perhaps remembering something, Hinka thoughtfully pulls something out of her pockets. Ta-da! I made a scent bag for you, boss, to help you relax. I heard that if you put it under your pillow, you'll sleep better. She had been in a daze about herself until a moment ago, but she was worried about me and forced herself to act cheerfully. Hearing Hinka's cheerful voice, I felt completely cheered up. I took the scent bag that Hinka offered me. When I took it in my hand, I, it smelled really good. I wonder if it contained some kind of medicinal herb. It seemed to relax my exhausted nerves. I see. It certainly seems to relax me. Thank you, Rika. Hey, I'm glad I could be of help to you, boss. I put scent bag in my pocket and patted Rinka's head. I intend to comfort Rinka, but I was comforted instead. That's okay, boss. Sometimes you should rely on me once in a while. Seeing Rinka smile, I laughed too for the first time in a long time. Ah, you finally laughed. Rinka's expression looked so happy. I work all night to make that scent bag. What? All night? Hey, you shouldn't do that. Hearing my comment, Rinka early covered her mouth. Oh no, I accidentally told you. I was going to keep it a secret. It is the thought that goes behind it. I know how you feel, so there is no need to go to that much trouble to give me a present. So don't stay up all night again. Okay, I understand. Rinka stuck out her tongue mischievously. Are you listening? I'm worried about you. Okay. Uh. Well. I can't try to challenge because I have. So let's see. Challenge. You can't see them to how much money they are making. Sexy B plus. Oh, in here they have uh, a requirement. Interesting. Probably they had, but I didn't, never saw. <laughs> it could have been that.
Another clever damn. Go, 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 make that money, make that money. We need to win. Come on. Yeah, one. There we go. I lost, and I lost to a no-name star. But I have worked so hard. Hey, you just took over the matchmaker pavilion, didn't you? That means you are still an amateur as a business owner. Damn. Then it's only natural for you to fail sometimes, isn't it? What do you know about it? Because of my fail, I have brought disgrace to the name of my family. I would be so down if I were you. Rather, I will identify where the problems are from those failures and improve the managers of the bar. Isn't that the proper mindset for a business owner? You, I'm not a... But... You're right. There was a time when I wondered if I could continue to run my bar. I stumbled many times and I thought about giving up. Looking at Rinka. But with the encouragement of my friends, I've been able to keep going. I realize many things while running a bar, such as it can't be a success if only the boss works hard. Looking at Aruka, my employees have something that shines through. The recent has, well, has come this far is because of their help. So that was why I understand. You're right. I'm going to take another look at my business f philosophy. I always thought that if I was serious about it, the bar would thrive. But since I took over the bar, sales have been declining. Instead of trying to learn about the strengths and ideas of my employees, I just clung to the management policies of the Shinonimo family. No, you are talented enough. The pressure to take over the family business must have been quite tough for someone so young. More than the pressure, I was more afraid that I would destroy this bar, which my father made prosperous during my generation. Anyway, thank you very much for today. What is your name? Lol, I'll remember that. Today was the matchmaker pavilion's loss, but I'll show you and pay you back sooner or later. I will make sure to bring back the fame of matchmaker pavilion and the Shinonoma family. Just you wait and see. Don't worry, I'm looking forward to it. No, I'm not. That night to celebrate our first victory, we held a small victory party inside the bar. Everyone enjoyed themselves and the time flew by. Soon it was time to call it a night. It was a great day, wasn't it, boss? Yes, it was. One more step toward our goal. Thanks to all of you, we've come a long way. What's next, boss? Next, I'm thinking of trying to challenge Hellish at Bar Golden Sands. You know, I heard that Hellish doesn't show up at the bar very often. It's a mysterious figure. There are rumors that the bar is just a hobby and that this is main business, the energy or business in Elegia. The high tech facility in the Castle of Progress depend on the energy whore, so they need to import a lot of whore from Elegia every year. This Hellish guy may be richer than you can imagine. Hmm, I guess we better prepare carefully then. Oh, you can switch over here the characters? Oh, didn't even know. Like, I can get to this one, so... Let me... First of all, let me save. Because I did that. Uh, it's this one. We can train her, we can train this, put this... Okay. But... Gift... Wasn't 10. 
Definitely not a vampire. Boss, let's go get my wand. The magic wand was left at store because it takes time to repair it. We are supposed to pick up the magic wand today, so Luna wants me to go to the store with her. Okay, I'm, I was worried you might get lost. I know that perfect time uh, as I had something to give her. On the way, Luna told me about the fun things that had happened at the bar. I guess it's time to give Luna, who is always curious, the present I have for her. Luna, I actually have a present for you. Luna's eyes lit up. Whoa, really? What is it? I reached into my pocket and pulled out the bad hair accessory Luna had been staring at that day. You were staring at this thing for a long time, weren't you? You said you didn't want it, but I could tell by the look on your face that you did. Luna happily accepted the hair accessory. Whoa, a limited edition, sorry for Kuroru, and you bought this for me, boss? I thought you'd like it. I bought it because it was still there when I passed it by store later. What do you think about wearing it? I love bad stuff. People say they are weird or not cute, but she carefully put on their sorry. It's nice. It looks good on you, Luna. Hey, thank you, boss. I love it. Why does you look why does you like bad so much, Luna? Does don't tell me you are a part of the legendary bloodline. I said jokingly, looking at her pure white skin. No, I'm not. Boss, if I were a relative of the legendary bloodline, I wouldn't be able to walk in the sun. Luna showed me her body, unscaffled by the sun. The girl was so beautiful in the sun, her long, silky hair shining in the light. Luna was frantically explaining the situation, and I stifled a laugh and answered earnestly. Okay, okay, you're not one of the legendary bloodline. You, the young girl over there. At that moment, an old woman on the street suddenly shouted out to us. The old woman was dressed as a fortune teller with a crystal ball in her hand, looked mysterious. Who? Me? Young lady, this fate of some kind, let me tell you your destiny. Luna was quite curious. I guess fortune tellers are not common in the magical kingdom, but she still seemed to be confused. I don't want your money, it's all fate. When Luna found out that it was free, she decided to ask the old woman to read her fortune without hesitation. The young one over there, please come over here too. What? Me too? Come here as well, it's your destiny. Luna pulled my hand and made me sit near the old woman. I don't have a choice. I laid my left hand on her right and placed it on the crystal ball. The crystal ball began to spin with a mysterious glow, and the fortune teller began to chant an unintelligible incantation of soft voice. After a while, the fortune teller stopped at the incantation and looked at us apologetically. This is not good. Your love for each other is about to crack. If you want to change your destiny, you can take the stone of destiny that I have carefully stored away for many years. But we are not in a relationship. Luna blushed and looked at me uh, gingerly. The stone of death is seemingly just a stone. The fortune tell doesn't even care if it has a pattern engraver on it or not. It was a poor attempt. This is a common scam. It's just a child's trick. I knew that too and look at Luna. She couldn't even see that we aren't in a relationship. A fortune tell, that's just a lie. Luna, don't be fooled. I did misjudge your relationship, but this stone of death is real deal. Wear it and it will change your destiny. The way she explains it in a hushed hush voice is getting more and more suspicious. Luna listens to my advice but looks at the stone regretfully. This is just another chance of age, I'll give you a discount of 3%. Of course. After much deliberation, Luna ended up buying the non-script stone. I was standing next to her but I didn't stop her. It was her first time away from school, this will be another social lesson. Then we went to the magical tool store and picked up the magic wand. Thanks for coming with me, boss, and I even got a cute present. Luna gently shook her head, and her bad hair sorry, swayed. The black hair sorry, her silver hair and her atmosphere match each other well, and it's all very beautiful. Yes, it's perfect for you, Luna. Luna smiled happily as she clutched her magic wand. If it weren't for that rock, it would have been a perfect day. But isn't that rock the one that's in here? Is that this one? A stone from another world? Or it's a different one? Uh, of course I cannot buy it, but... I wonder. So I can do this one. I see if I don't know what... Luna's Great Adventure. Hold left mouse, mouse button to continuously release magic attacks. Clicking right mouse button will consume MP to activate a brief defensive spell. You use the spa, space bar to control your flying height and evade enemy attacks. While ensure you are on to eliminate as many enemies as possible. All right. Thank <laughs> you. 
What? It was only this? Or did I got it? Did I got it, was it? I got it so many times that I didn't even saw. Probably cannot go two down. What the hell is that? I don't know what the hell is that. You can see it down here, but uh, you cannot see what it does. Oh, I get more magic? Probably I get a bl uh, blue bar. That one gave more blue bar. So it's only one hit you need to block with that. But what all is that that you get? With it, you can recruit branch members, which seems very helpful for large pubs eager to expand their branch. Oh, well, I cannot even do that. At this point, I cannot even do that. So, there's no point. <laughs> but that's a cool minigame. You can only get hit one time. Once you get hit, you're, you are dead. Unfortunately. Oh, the alloys had a, a rating. I didn't saw what, is what it is. Was there a, a coin in there? Hiding behind the pillar? Sexy. Gonna have to replace there. Go, 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 go! Make that money, make that money, then! What the fuck? What? I pressed it in time, what the hell? Gentle, can trade here. We go fourteen. All customers have left, so it's time to close up.
As we were about to close up, I saw a figure opening the door of the bar. <coughs> Is Lol here? Looking towards the owner of the voice. Kazumi, why are you here? What? Are you saying you didn't call for me? Not really, but what's the matter? You are not here for revenge, are you? No, I'm not. Wait, is this the girl from that bar? Because the name Shinonom, but she's different. Kasumi looks around the stage and turns to me. Hey, I saw a job at the advertisement outside. Are you still recruiting? What's that look for? Are you saying I shouldn't apply? Are you serious? What? You don't believe me unless I get down on my knees? Oh, I like that. Uh, that... It seems that my response wasn't expected, and she was at the loss for a reply. Kazumi stares at me with a bright red face, but seems to be fitching. Ah, uh, just kidding. What uh, has had to happen for the uh, the young lady from Shinonom family to be applying for a part-time job with us? Ever since I lost you, I've been thinking about what you said. But no matter how much I thought about it, I couldn't figure it out, so I came here to see if I could find a clue. I thought it would be okay to at least take a peek from the viewpoint of an outsider. How did that become applying for a part-time job, young lady? Well, because you can't tell just by looking from the outside. Well, let's leave it at that. What about pay? Oh, uh, how about 3,000 runes a day? Huh? 3,000 runes a day? What? That isn't enough? How about 5,000? If it's more than that, I'll have to consult our financial advisor. What? Wait a minute. Do you mean you are going to pay me and not the other way around? Isn't it obvious? I'm going to study with you, so I'll at least pay a tuition fee. Nobody says nothing. Uh, Alright, I'll hire you, but I don't want your tuition. As long as you are, work hard, that's all that matters. If a customer complains, you'll take a pay cut. You don't just make the customers who complain disappear. Kazumi gives a mischievous look. I think I now understand why sales at the matchmaker pavilion have dropped. By the way, boss, with your bar driving, you haven't ever thought about opening a branch establishment? A branch? That's right. If you have enough money, you should open a branch. It's hard to expand business with only one store. I see, Brent is such a big city. We should start thinking about opening branch in other places and recruiting employees. Man manage branch 1. The branch which is now available, you can open branch in different regions of the world. <gasps> I'm gonna be able to open the branch. Branch. Meeting the, rep meeting the reputation requirements and uh, spending gold coins allows you to open branch in different regions of brand. Each newly opened branch increases the reputation earned in pub operation by 15%. After each pub operation on the main screen, after each pub operation on the main screen, you'll receive a branch staff recruitment voucher. Having this voucher allows you to recruit new branch staff here. The new staff will wait for your confirmation in the applicant list, so don't forget. Wait, it's like a, a gacha? Lol. <laughs> Assigning staff to the unlocked branch allows them to automatically start operations, ensuring a continuous stream of income. Boosting branch levels not only improve ratings, but also significantly shortens the interval of our income acquisition. Increasing the number of staff members can also enhance the ratings, and the higher the rating, the greater income obtained per transaction. By the way, even if you are not on the current interface, the branch operation operating income will continue to accumulate. Remember to collect it here, okay, in the piggy. In summary, strive to improve branch ratings and expand your presence to every region in the continent of Brent. Wishing you a prosperous business. Jesus Christ. Well, I can go for this one and this one. These ones look like they're gonna be, uh, Jesus. I can go for this. Mm. 120, like I can go immediately to the 140, 45, Sovereign of Leviosa. No staff available. So this is where you do I have seven. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know what the hell it means. Okay. So I go over here. Oh wait, no, first I need to go over here and choose. Is it what the fuck? Level 30? Hey! Look at this! 
higher this one higher this one uh, can reject this one so on here we're gonna put the S++ and now we can open in here we go look at them making money interesting it's like a, a gacha game that, that you will do over there hmm. shoes what the hell but yeah you can that's why you can do this one to get more pew, 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 pew. I need more addicting the gacha part of the game. So I think the blue bar is the mana that you have. Tools that defensive. Or not, or it's like shooting faster too. It depends. This is what it looks like. Oh my god, that fucking crow. Yeah, you and now I'm shooting faster. I hit him outside the screen. Try to guess where he is. Holy shit! <laughs> Alright, shot double. Wow. Who needs to lose the def defensive uh, spell? Oh, almost got hit by that. Oh, right, I got mana. I needed tools. I didn't know if I was gonna kill that crow or not. Holy shit, that crow! Oh! <gasps> Damn it! Well, got uh, some good ones. Like that I can go and open. So never forget on here. Let's see. I think I got a good one. That's this. I need to uh, hire. Higher, higher. There we go. Jesus. I can even buy shit over here, no? Oh, you can buy these ones over here. Jesus Christ. Uh, training. Oh, she's over here now? Hmm, she has a lot of sexiness, so we can increase that. 
She needs to get a uh, gift. We can put this one like 20. She'll be enough to get to free hearts. <laughs> I cannot go to the second one, but why? Re read the, first, the previous chapter first, of course. On this day, I was watching Kazumi work. She had just started working here, so her movements were still a little awkward. On top of that, the fact that she is the daughter of the matchmaker pavilion is a cause for concern. In a recent sales showdown, this pub had won against the matchmaker pavilion. The lady who managed the matchmaker pavilion, Kazumi Shinonu, uh, was so distraught at that time. Still, I can't believe she will put aside her pride and come to work as a waitress at my bar. Fortunately, no one knows the name Matchmaker Pavilion in Aurelia, so there is no one who knows uh, who knows who Kazumi is. Hey boss, how did you get Kazumi Shinono to work as a waitress? There is someone who knows her? Oh, you know Kazumi? She used to do business in Leviosa. I know a little about the Shinono family. Oh, what do you know about them? I gave him a curious look and he began to talk with great enthusiasm. The Shinono family is a, super f a famous upper class family on the magical continent. It is a family with a long and glorious history. As the only daughter of Shinono family, Kazumi Shinono was cherished and treasured. However, many prestigious families, including the Shinono family, got involved in the fierce power struggle in the magical kingdom. Kazumi's mother also left the Shinono family to marry into another noble family to protect his family from the vortex of politics. Kazumi's father switched aside from politics to the world of commerce when she was two years old. This went well for more than a decade, but overwork took its toll on his body and he was unable to continue his business. So he had no choice but to let his only daughter, Kazumi, who was still not well versed in the worldly affairs, take over the business. I see, this Shinonoma family had a tough time too. I now understand why Kazumi was afraid of her father's bar going out of business. Thank you very much for letting me know. It was very informative. As a thank you, all of your drinks today will be paid for by the bar. Well, that's very generous. Well then, I won't hold back. I turn my attention to Kazumi, who is working hard for the sake of family honor and business that her father poured his heart and soul into a young lady from a good family is trying to start over from scratch. Huh? Her, gratitude, her attitude is commendable, but it also hurts my heart, although I won't show it on my face. What Kazumi needs now is not sympathy, but someone's recognition. Hey boss, how did you like my work? When I closed the bar, Kasumi rushed over to me. She asked me to evaluate her work with an expectant look on her face. Yes, you did a good job, it's just... just what? Kasumi thought she was going to be praised, asking in a high-handed manner. It's just that if you could forget about your lady's pride and become friendly to those around you, it would have been a lot better. I know it sounds far-fetched, but I just hope you take my word for it. Then save money on expense. Kasumi lips twitched, and she was very disappointed. I, I'm not wasting money. If you think so, then I'll leave the accounting for the bar to you, Kazumi. This decision required a lot of courage, but I decided to trust Kazumi and leave it to her. It was, it was also a chance for her to learn and grow in the area of bar management. Whether she knew of my distress or not, Kazumi complained to me in a spoiled voice. What do you want me to do all that work for you? You know, I thought if you knew the importance of money, you wouldn't waste it so much. Kasumi expressed softened a little, but she looked at me with skeptical eyes. Besides, charge are a piece of cake for you, right Kasumi? This is how a supervisor gives a subordinated challenge. Hm. If that's the way you want it, I'll do it. Just as I thought, Kasumi accepted. Make sure you write down all the income and expense. Yes, yes, I know, I know. Uh, by the way, two great... 30k? 30? 30? Is it, yeah, 30k? That won't be bad. It's not that it's hard to get to there. What about the challenge? Wait, how, how, you, how, how do you do this? It's not showing over there. Yeah, but now it's like, uh, she's over here, she's not that big of a deal, let's be honest. Oh yeah, I forgot, there is the other story. Ayaka's feelings. It has been a while since Kazumi started doing the accounting for the bar, and she's doing well. I knew yo, I was right. Boss, today is the bar regular holiday, right? Can you go out with me for a bit? I don't have anything in particular to do, but I thought I would like to walk around town with someone for a bit. Ayaka's shyly and unusually if I'd meet join her. Oh, sure. I don't know where this is coming from, but since I had no errands to run, I decided to go along. 
while walking around town, Kazumi told me what she felt about her job. I found out when I started doing the accounting, just how hard it is to make money. I also realized how much money I was wasting. Since I suddenly took over Matchmaker Pavilion, I didn't know what I could do to improve it. So I just had to run the store according, according to the old rules. But you know, I learned a lot from your bar. The first thing to do is to make sure that you have a good idea of what you're doing and how to do it. I mean, I'm so grateful to everyone at the bar, especially you boss, for trusting me. I'm happy to if you do understand that much. I'm amazed at how much you have grown, Kazumi. I'm sure you'll be a great owner. Kazumi nod her head with a big smile on her cheeks. We walk around town leisurely, buying and eating at food stalls. Kazumi had never eaten at a food stall before, and I agree praised the food as delicious and tasty. She's a young, high-class lady. It was only natural that she did not know the taste of common people. Entering an SRE store, Kazumi eagerly looked at the things on sale. She's a girl, isn't she? With an eye of our beautiful stories. Oh, this one. I would like to have this ring. Please wrap it up for me. It seemed that she had found something she liked. Then Kazumi turned around and handed me the wrapped ring. Boss, this is for you. You have to take it, right? I didn't buy it with the Shinanom family's money. I bought it with my part-time salary. I thought you bought it for yourself. It it is cheap, but express my feelings. I don't want it returned. She seems to be worried that I'll sting because it's cheap. That's not true. If you look closer, you can see that the ring is quite sophisticated in design. She said it was cheap, but when I casually look at the price tag, what? Ten thousand runes? It seems she put all her part-time salary into buying it for me. I guess it can't be helped. She said she knew if she was wasting her money. But this is Kazumi's first present, and Kazumi has grown up, and I gratefully accept the ring. But straight on? Kazumi looked at me with expectant eyes. Okay. I put the ring on my middle finger, and it fit perfectly. It looks pretty good too. The exquisite patterns engraved on the ring are said to have been handed down in the magical content since ancient times. I shine the sunlight on, on the ring and look at it. I show it to Kazumi. Yes, it looks good on you, my eyes weren't mistaken. But don't spend a fortune next time. What? I spent it for you, boss, so it's fine, right? What? What did you say? What? Nothing. She sounded disgruntled, but her face was a little red for some reason. We started walking again, laughing, but we hadn't noticed. Behind us, a figure in all black staring at Kazumi. Ooh, someone was following her? Yeah, but she doesn't fit in here because she's too weak compared to the other ones. Yeah, you can always increase, but the other ones are good for now. Of course, if you get more slots, you can always fit in her in there. More gentle, Jesus. Where is the gold coins? Oh my god, so many. You can extend in that one. I think she can handle that. Sexy. Mm. That's to be her. Clever. Go, 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 go. Because I think with this money I'm gonna be able to upgrade my... Uh... Wait a second, let me only focus, this so much things. Upgrade my bar.
clever, are you serious? Ah. Uh, I'm gonna have to put this one. S seriously? Clever again? Oh, you even receive uh, posters for the gacha part. Hey, Rinka. That customer over there, what's his name? The one who came here before. Oh, I think it's uh, the gourmet Ford. Oh yeah, that guy, I remember now. What are you two sneaky around talking about? Boss, look over there, it's Ford. Same man who gave you some advice the other day. You're right, he's sitting in the corner seat again by himself. I had to f over to Ford's seat but to say hello. Ford raised his glass to me. I've heard of your activity, sir. It seems you have broken the matchmaker pavilion and opening branch one after another. Dusk pub name recognizes climbing in the industry. The future of the establishment is definitely bright. Thanks to your advice, Ford, I'm glad I could be of a help. I have confidence in my own eyes. The unique appearance of this establishment. It could eventually beat Bar Reborn and be the top of them all. I'm grateful, Ford. I will never forget the taste of Hell's Gate. Why don't you join me for a drink? With pleasure. I raise gl my glass and drink before. The recipe for Elk's Gate has been around for as long as I can remember. A slight sweetness with a hint of astringency. To me it tastes like no big deal. But as you say Ford, all the subhuman guests appreciate this drink. Ford, as a thank you for your hospitality, will you let me have today's bill paid in full by the bar? Haha, <laughs> that's kind of you. The then Ford dropped the tone of his voice. But I'm happy with the just the gesture. May I have a few words about the Hell's Gate recipe? Yes, I think this much is okay. Ford held up three fingers. In other words, you like to buy the Hellscape recipe for 30k runes. Boss, stop all the shouting and help me out. There are too many orders for me alone, eh? Uncle Hellish? <coughs> what are you doing here? <coughs> Uncle Hellish, is your throat not feeling well? Good grief, Kazumi. I've never been good at hiding, and I'm still not. Hell is seemed to have given up trying to fake it. Now, that I have been found out, let me introduce myself once again. I am Hellish Bryant, manager of Bard Golden Sands. I see, you are Hellish. So what is the purpose of you coming to my place under the guise of a gourmet? Purpose? No, 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 no. Gourmet is just one of my titles. The reason I don't reveal my name is because I simply don't want to stand out. Definitely not with the name valid that Hellish has in the business world, you will be the center of attention wherever you, ever you go. And is that why? What is your relationship to Kazumi? Uncle Elish and my father have been business associates for a long time. He used to come to my house a lot and since I was little. It is thanks to Uncle Elish help that the matchmaker pavilion grew so big. Kazumi, you have grown up a lot. I see. That said, given the momentum of this pub, I guess the next challenge will be my place? Yes, that is my intention. However, running a bar is just a side business for me, a hobby. So how about a little wager to liven up the showdown? Wager? What kind? You want to beat Posh Potius, don't you? But it's not easy to beat. If you lose the sales showdown, you will retaliate with dirty tricks. However, however, if we can get our hands on Potius' secret ledgers, it will be a different story, as we will have evidence of illegal sales and accounting irregularities. So, if I win, you'll tell me where those secret ledgers are? Correct. If I win, I will tell you where Potius' secret ledgers are. But if I win, I take the rest for Hell Hell's Gate. Hmm. Okay, I mean, good. That's the manager of the star I've been looking up to. He'll make a quick decision. Well, that's enough for today. I look forward for, to our showdown. Saying this, hell is uh, got up from his seat. Speaking of which, what was that three finger gesture earlier? Oh, I was going to buy the recipe for 3 million runes, but when I thought about it, that amount of money really is not commensurate with the quality of that beautiful drink. If I don't win this head to head battle, I won't be worthy of a drink like Hell's Gate. You think, you think so too, right? Hahaha. <laughs> With those words, hell is left. Uh, boss, I don't know what he was talking about. Why the shocked look on your face? Of course I'm shocked. If I had known it was 3 million, I would have sold it right away. So can't I upgrade? Oh, I'm not even close. I need uh, nine, uh, at least 8,000. Oh wait, I have this shit. Oh my god. How the hell did he end brought more? I can always do this one. Damn.
Oh, three hearts, why? Oh, okay, because of that, okay, jeez. I was gonna say, why the hell there is three hearts? Uh, I can put in here, in here, increase in here. I would love to see, but it's like I needed to do more, a little bit more. This is not enough. Yeah. I want to see how it is level 3. Isn't that uh, another clever? That's with gentle. Can put that one. right on time. Go, 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 make that money. We need to get to level 3 at least to see. Goddamn, why the hell you at 12? There was no Excel. Jesus Christ. Fuck. That should be enough to get to level to fourth level three. Sexy them. Can always do like that. Oh, champagne. Oh, come on, clever again. Oh, there's a rating over there for the S hunk to appear on the with the vouchers. How the hell then you unlock this? Right? How the hell do you unlock to put more people into there? So now here we can buy this one. Sixteen. Thousand. Holy shit. So now that we know that this challenge is this guy. Okay. 115 uh, in power rating. Jesus. 
all right but hope you can enjoy your some gameplay of dusk pub like if you like this type of game so with a little bit of visual novel uh and then of management simulation of a like a bar you know where you can train the the bartenders and you can and then you can you know branch to get more money from it you know uh and then you have mini games that you can do that they, that they are fun i'm gonna be honest they are fun to to do it and uh, like you know there's a lot of things to do then you have here the stories of the characters to learn more about them uh, train them so there's a lot of things that you can do in this game so if you like this type of games you can buy it on steam that is the censored version of course then there is the uncensored that is supposed to have a patch on steam but steam needs to approve that but if you don't want to wait for steam to approve you can go to discord and in there the developer has the uncensored patch where you can download apply to the steam version then and you can play with with the uncensored version uh, but yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time.